Hello fellow internet dweller, Jack and Ear here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add GOG games that use DOSBox to your Steam library. Now this is not a permanent addition to your Steam library, this is simply utilizing the add a non-Steam game feature that Steam has um, to add the game to your Steam library on the one computer that you're doing it with. And uh, I had some trouble trying to add Warcraft Orcs and Humans to my Steam library because it uses DOSBox and I figured it out and I just wanted to share how I was able to fix it. So if you have the same issue uh, and you clicked on this video, that's awesome. Now the example game I'm going to be using today is the Elder Scrolls Red Guard, which is on Steam actually, but I bought it on GOG before it came out on Steam and so I don't have it on Steam and I want to add it to my Steam library because I have all the other Elder Scrolls games right here including Battlespire that I also got on GOG and I just want to have them all in one place but it's gonna be a bit of a challenge because first of all if you try to add it uh, just with the add a game like it goes Steam goes through all your programs uh, it will not show up uh, Red Guard here, it says DOSBox configuration, but that's not the same thing. So what you're going to want to do is browse um, for where your game is installed. And for me, it's on GOG games in my local disk and Red Guard, and it's under Launch Red Guard. But, and you can see it's a .exe, which is awesome. However, that is not the last uh, step because there is when you try to launch it a it's called launch settings that's not called red guard which is an issue um, when you try to launch the game this is what you're gonna get uh, this has happened when I was trying to get the Warcraft orcs and humans it just shows up with this it doesn't actually launch the game and that's an issue right this, this is what we're trying to fix in this video so just close out of this and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the properties of the non steam app and this is a very helpful little interface and um, it's also going to be handy to do this if you have the um, icon for the uh, actual way to launch the game um, for example this is the shortcut to launch the game just from my desktop and uh, what we're going to want to do is right click it go to properties and you're going to get this little window here. And basically where the issue is coming from is with this target. So you can see the start in is the same for both, but the target is not. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the beginning of this target command and copy it and paste it. And I also see that there is a slight difference in that so we'll change that just in case and also while you're in this menu you can change the name um, so I think it's called an Elder Scrolls Adventure Red Guard and also if you have a custom icon you can also use that here so we just exit out of that and now we have an Elder Scrolls Adventure Red Guard and when we launch it, it is going to open up. The game is being kind of finicky because, you know, it's an old game and I'm trying to record it. But you can see now that it actually does open on Steam. Um, so if I wanted to play it now on Steam, I could do that. So that is really it, how to add GOG games, or like it could be any other game that uses DOSBox um, from any other website. I will also say an additional tip, um, if, you have, if you go to steamgriddb.com, look up the game of your choice, for example for me, Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard, um, that's, I titled the name wrong I guess you can add custom artwork to your game because you don't want it to look like that 
And if we look at where I put, it was under A, right? So in Elder Scrolls, it might be under E. Yeah, so you don't want to have it looking like that. So if you go to steamgriddb.com, you can get a bunch of artwork and uh, make it look like a normal Steam game. But I'll make a separate video for that. But yeah, that is how uh, you add those pesky DOS box games from GOG onto your Steam account. Thank you for watching. If you if you found it helpful, maybe consider hitting the like button. Um, but otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Peace out.